November 24 St. John of the Cross John was born in Spain and was the son of a poor weaver. He went to a school for poor children and became a servant to the director of a hospital. For seven years, John worked as a servant while also studying at a Jesuit college. Even as a youth, he liked to do penance, and when he was 21, his love of God prompted him to enter the Carmelite order. With St. Teresa of Avila, St. John was chosen by God to bring a new spirit of fervor among religious. But his life was full of trials. Although he succeeded in opening new monasteries where his holy way of life was practiced, he himself was criticized and even thrown into prison. He was beaten and made to suffer terribly by his enemies. At one time, too, he had fierce temptations. God seemed to have left him alone, and he suffered greatly. Yet, when these storms of trouble passed, the Lord rewarded his faithful servant by giving him deep peace and joy of heart. John was very close to his God. In fact, the Blessed Mother herself showed John how to escape from his prison cell. St. John had a marvelous way with sinners. Once, when a beautiful but sinful woman tried to make him do wrong, he talked to her so well that she was led to change her life. Another lady, instead, had such a sharp temper that she was nicknamed the Terrible. Yet St. John knew how to calm her down by his kind manners. Every time he could, this saint chose what would bring him the most suffering. He prayed God to let him suffer every day for love of Jesus. And in reward, our Lord revealed himself to St. John in a special way. St. John is famous for his spiritual books which show us how to grow close to God. Today, if I have something to suffer, I will be patient.